Hello and welcome! Today we are going to be taking a look at the Path 2D node. And this is also relatively simple to use actually. I will create one right now. The basic idea behind a Path 2D is that it is a path. It has this curve thing. You can add points to it by using this sort of drawing stuff up here. So I'll just create one that goes around like this. And that's the path. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, it doesn't have to be closed. It's not a polygon. It is just a curve. But the thing about the path 2D is that it doesn't do very much of anything by itself. It is just kind of there to hold a curve 2D. So here's where the interesting stuff happens, which is this path follow 2D. Now this is just a node. It'll set its own position, so it does all that and it will just follow this path using these properties up here. Now to make it visible in the actual game, I'm going to I'm just going to make this a little icon.png right there. So we'll be able to see exactly where the path is. So here it is, it's at the beginning. If you move it, you can have offset or unit offset or well there's even all this stuff. Uh, I'm not actually sure what that does. What happens if I just make that huge? Well, it doesn't matter. I think that's actually deviating from the path, it looks like. Um, the two main things for the path follow 2D are offset, which is the number of pixels along the path. So, you know, I guess this particular path is about 1900 pixels long. And then unit offset, which you might be able to tell, is between 0 and 1. It's kind of more like a percentage. So if you want to do, you know, if you have this little guy moving at a specific speed and you want him to go 100 pixels a second, you would probably want to be doing it in offset, where you can say, that's 100 pixels, that's 100 pixels, that's 300, that's 400, that's 500, and you could move along that way. If you wanted to say like okay I want this to be a hundred percent done after three seconds you would just use the unit offset because you know when unit offset is one it is at the end of the path. There's a few more little things to play with here there's the the rotate option which um, because I've already rotated, rotated my guy a bit he's uh, not adjusting but you know in theory this uh, this rotate property just means that he will rotate um, based on his position, I guess the tangent or something about the curve. You can work it out. There's cubic interpolate as well, self-explanatory and loop. And that's pretty much it for the path follow 2D. I can't imagine how much uh, I have used this quite a bit. It's quite good for um, if you have scripted NPCs and you want them to sort of walk around a predefined path. Uh, I have done it for that purpose and it's very useful because it's very easy to change uh, sort of where they're walking or where they're going. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, that's the whole thing. Think of some interesting uses for the Path 2D. Um, you are now free to add this to your game and, uh, and do what you like. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Uh, very short tutorials just to, uh, I don't know, talk about some nodes that I like because I do like the Path 2D node quite a bit. I mean, look at this. Okay, don't look at that. Look at this. Okay. Ba-boom. Now look at that. He just goes up another. Anyway, that's all. Goodbye.